Hey, everybody. It's Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Thanks for taking a break from the NFL. Uh, because, I mean, hell, we're much better. Uh, welcome to Murder Hobo, Inc. This is the Margu campaign, our uh, tri-generational campaign. Giving it a shot. Uh, last week was uh, wheeling and a dealing and a lot of testicle smashing uh but we'll get into that in a minute follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to buy cool stuff like this shirt it's online down below if you want to chat with us in discord just shoot the shit about DD down there on discord most importantly if you want to join us on the talk show on tuesday or a one shot m hobo inc twitter gmail hit us up we'll get you on this show uh you'll have a great time i almost guarantee it like I said, this is the tri-generational campaign. Let's introduce you to our customers. Uh, first, the patriarch, Frank One. I am uh, Frank Senior, uh, also known as Leaf, the only sane druid. Actually, probably the only sane party member when you get right down to it. Just trying to hold my own. Uh, you guys are awful uh, liberal with throwing that only sane. Uh, I think none of you are gonna do that uh next up we'll go with frank two back from sabbatical and okay i remember now okay <laughs> yes. what's the computer? it's been a long time since i've used this stupid thing yes i am uh frank number two the middle child middle child middle middle frank i am uh robert the insane red dragon honesty on, uh, there's no sanity here whatsoever. Just gone. As well as uh, testicles, I believe I rolled. Didn't he lose them? Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, my wife had those all along. <laughs> well, the tree <laughs> hit it right in your wife's purse. Uh, Frank three, you're up, Man Fang. Yay! I am Man Fang, a dragonborn fighter, and I don't even go know what's going on. So that's the, for now. But I don't know what's going on at this point. You really feel well, off that little... three intelligent negative. I, yeah. I think I think I you're what's going on. You're going way light on your diplomatic skills. Those could come in handy today. Yes, they could. Legendary diplomatic. Skills. I have six diplomas in language. <laughs> Next up is Jason, who might not be able to hear us. Uh, I am playing a gnome. <clears throat> Name, uh, gnome named uh, Captain Copious Volbitters the Third, aka Freddy. See, he is a uh, uh, a he's now a, a naval uh, magnet as well as a brewmaster. As uh, somebody's looking for an in town with a lot of fancy clothes, I'm guessing. He, he's uh, yes, he wears he now wears a nice hat. He's he's bedazzled with rings and jewelry, necklaces. He's a stylish gnome and a cravat to hide the scars from. And a very persuasive gnome. Incredibly, incredibly persuasive. persuasive. You, you know, tie a, tie a rope around his ankles, and he makes a fancy anchor. That's right, bucko. Now you say you have a fancy hat and a cravat. <laughs> well, the cravat he's had for a while. He's looking for a fancy hat to go with the. Right now, it may just be a bowl out of the the uh, <clears throat> galley. I, 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 I think we might be able to find you something. Last but certainly not least, AJ. I'm not sure you're going to find a hat large enough for that head of copious. <laughs> anyway, no. yeah, I'm AJ. I'm a rogue human. Uh, I'm the last sane party member. The real last sane party member. Ah, <laughs> uh, the inner party politics is heavy today. Folks, uh, don't forget about Pirate Dog Dice, who gave me Big Red that can kill at a drop of a dime. And, of course, oddfishgames.com. Uh, if your game stinks, grab a little adventure sense and make it smell a whole lot better. Uh, folks, last week, uh, these guys managed to successfully escape even with Man Fang's assistance, uh, the Nizumi <laughs> ruins uh, where they came into contact with not only a feline drug cattel, uh, but also turtle invaders. Uh, these enterprising uh, gang uh, found the turtle vehicle down a very steep slope. Unfortunately, three of them way failed their uh, dexterity rolls and they all talk like 
this. Uh, but they did manage to commandeer the turtle vessel. They managed to get inside, kill the only occupant, and load up the zonkeys uh, and the reptilian uh, mount. And they're even heavy two gnomes. We rejoin them in the bay uh, as everybody gives me investigation checks, please. Oh, that's a natural 20. Ooh. 15 for Cocos. Dirty 20. So for me, it's a 22 with a natural 20. Everything's dirty, but it was a 15. I got a 16. Life is going great. Uh, my two 20s, uh, the bookends, Felix and Leaf. Who wants an item and who wants uh, something else? Leaf, you got the natural 20. I'll give you the choice. Uh, an unusual item or a different item. Curtain one, curtain two. And I will see which one has. Go with the box. There you go. Box is not on the table yet. Uh, uh, well, the first thing I'm going to do is cast uh, Detect Magic. It's magical. It is a book. I'll take the book, I guess. Okay. Uh, it has in it three spells that you can go ahead and use or write out as a scrolls. Felix, you get a hat. D12 against me. <laughs> 12. Oh, seven. It's not going to fit your uh, voluminous head. Oh, well, then it definitely won't fit copious. <laughs> it is a dashing hat with a peacock feather in it. Uh, copious is staring at the hat. His eyes are huge. I think it chubs. It, it is a tricorn hat with an <laughs> ostrich feather. It, he's he's uh, literally uh, drooling uh, looking at the hat. Uh, I might just waste that burnt burning you're, hand spell. You're an enabler, that fella. That yeah, that's what fire. you are. <laughs> copious, I'm going to need an insight check from you since you are uh, near and dear to it. Uh, Felix, you may roll for insight as well. 13. Six. Felix, uh, you don't give a crap because it's not going to fit you. Copious, uh, turtles are, are bigger. And this hat is smaller. It's not really a captain's hat per se uh, maybe uh but it's stylish with that ostrich feather uh man fang good news uh, you have found a map to a coastline uh go ahead and give me an intelligence roll <laughs> you knew that was coming dad can you swear for me son of a bitch there you go thank you you're welcome son thank you that's family right there. <laughs> what is it with my dice? He fumbled. He rolled it off the table twice. That's a fumble. It wasn't going to be anything. You almost happen. fumbled anyways. That's a negative three plus that. Okay, so he rolled two. Four. Well, four. it looks like land. You want to share it with anybody else? Let's start with the most intelligent one. So an NPC? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the sure. two Leaf, take this, Leaf. I was about to say, it ain't me. I'll take an intelligence check, Leaf. You're muted. All right. Uh, 15 and what's my plus? Two, 17. Well, clearly, this is a map of a turtle coastline, but what Manfang didn't notice. This would be the other side, and it is a map of the Tabaxi coastline near uh, the capital city. Uh, the to, the total map uh, appears to be a backwater kind of uh, coastline uh, with only a single village on it. Uh, oh, we lost Jason already. Yep. He is the captain. This is what you can expect from his sailormanship. <coughs> or the page boy. You aren't really sure because that hat's small. Well, seeing as how I can turn into a, a dolphin or a seahorse, I don't give a shit. I can swim ashore. 
There you go. Harder than all of us if you turn into a dolphin. No sea monkey. <laughs> Couldn't find that one. <laughs> well, fly away and thanks for and say thanks. Uh, for weren't those shrimp? Yes. Yes. yes shrimp. That's what I thought. Yeah. There's I enough, wasted. There's way too many shrimp on this boat already. Teenage you know I mean? Frank wasted a lot of money on sea monkeys. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh my God. there you go, gentlemen. Who okay. wants to try and pilot this craft since your captain is MIA right now? Sure. Uh, well, give, let's, me, let's give me a history check. Uh, you know what? I'll give you a choice. History or Arcana. No, <laughs> it don't matter. 18 without anything you know it's pretty rudimentary and you've been on board a ship before you're pretty sure you understand this uh, i everybody got the copy of the ship right yes okay so essentially this craft can be piloted by two different forms of movement one is the double mast up top and you will be able to find uh the releasing notches to actually get up raise the mast, uh, steer it around if you need to. The other is by oars. You have been able to surmise that on the captain's bridge, if you leave the doors open, you can shout and the oarsmen will be able to hear you. Now on a turtle vessel, there are a first mate and a bosun and they would stand in each hallway and relay the information. So currently there are six of you and two gnomes that can go ahead and do this. You also have a tabaxi stowaway, if I'm not mistaken. I yes. thought we just ride it. This <coughs> ship rides on the back of giant elephants. All oh, right. It could if you want to take it uh, on board or on land. Hmm. It have to be a big elephant. You know, the size three, that almost crushed copious. Three big elephants that travel around the universe. Mm-hmm. I thought it was three big elephants that stand on top of a turtle that travels around the universe. Was it that way? Yeah, it was on ah, top of a turtle. I'm wrong. You need to study your Hindu again. You need I to listen, listen to your son there, Robert. <sighs> he's he's there to the books. I gave him the box. Uh -huh. do, do we you have a prevailing wind here? You want you want to raise what, Felix? Let's raise the sails and uh -oh. hit the road. All right. Your speak. question about I wind? D12 against me. I'll throw it All right. Second. <laughs> I have one. Uh, the wind is non-existent at this time. time I guess we're we'll, uh, do some roll it, rowing here. Looks hmm. like rowing. We're in the doldrums. I'll row. I got nothing better to do. Well, let's and put it. please note, you are just off the coastline. Uh, the owners may or may not be back, depending on how they dealt with the cattel. Uh, and you are in an enemy vessel according to Chekhov. Well, let's split up then and get one person watching where we're going and everybody else on and over. Copious will scramble to the top, stand <laughs> on the foredeck. You, you want the bridge? I want the bridge. Captain you on the deck. Okay. 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 Let on the me bridge. just point out, hey. to be on the bridge, you got to be what? able to see outside. Why is the barrel boy on the bridge? Somebody get him back in the barrel. Huh. Uh, uh, one more. I, Copus is sitting there. He's got two little steel marbles. He's starting to roll in his fingers. He says, "One more word from you, Robert." <laughs> he walked the deck. <laughs> Bring it, cabin boy. Ah, uh, Copus, you have uh, assumed command of this vessel. Who do you want? Where? Uh, let's. Hey, uh, Man Fang, you're like it's like that old movie, uh, the uh, Three Stooges and Hercules. We'll put you on one side of the, the boat. It's all right, man thing. I got you. <laughs> and then let's see if we can put Robert on the other side, being the other strongest member of the deck. The Two gnomes on the other side. You know what? Better yet, I'll take one. What's a, a, a Latrec? I'll ask for Latrec to be up so he can call down orders from whatever I see on from the bridge. Phineas Latrec, first okay. mate. <laughs> Okay, so you got uh, then, Felix, yeah, you've got Felix. Manfang, you have Leaf, and you have Haggis, and you also have Pierre. So the and four, a Tabaxi. Uh, the four party members on either side of the, the ship <laughs> rowing. You row one way, I'll row the other. Okay. <laughs> and Manfang and Robert. 
And then Leaf and uh, Felix. Yeah. I'm gonna I'll get on the opposite okay. side from Manfang, and I'm gonna go ahead and assume my ape no, for beast shape. Your what shape? Ape. Oh, great! I feel like we're just spinning in circles. Wait, wait! What the hell kind of captain is this? We're just yeah. spinning in circles. <sighs> so, is Felix sitting downstairs <laughs> while Leaf transforms into an? And yeah, it, with me. Felix would be on the other side, I think. Oh, okay. Damn. Uh, <laughs> Leaf, is, Leaf is with Robert, so Felix would curiously be with Manfang. You have I feel like we're not a, getting anywhere. You have a gnome, <laughs> uh, tabaxi, and haggis crapstain. Uh, got put, a, Ape has a lot more strength than I do, is the reason I picked it. Put haggis on the same side as Felix and the other, and then the tabaxi and the gnome on the, the same side as Leaf. Uh, persuade the tabaxi that he has to use the What's the problem? <laughs> persuade? At, At disadvantage, disadvantage, courtesy of your cursed ring. I'm not cursed. I've been blessed from by the gods. Two ones. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. When you, uh, you clue him in that he is on an enemy vessel, and uh, if he wants to live, he's going to have to row. He wants to know, where are we bound for? And uh, Pierre uh, Glambone says, yes, where are we headed? And Phineas Lautrec says, uh, Captain? I, too, would like to know where we're headed. I'm going to study the map really carefully. Which side? I'm going to study the map. It doesn't carefully. matter. Okay. I'm, I'm going to lay the map out and ask the first mate to come over and take a look at the map and say, our first priority is just to get farther away from the shore so that the, the uh, turtles can't swim out to us and try to retake the ship. And then where's the... And I'm going to ask Latrec if we are trying to dispose of some antiquities get them to a proper museum where's the best yeah, place yeah, to put yeah, in no oh, torals are amphibians that means they can go on land and water so they could just swim out here which is why i said we need to get farther away from the shore right but still they could still swim boom i got an 11 year old there <laughs> yeah. so, hey when you when you yell like that it distorts like crazy through the <laughs> that's the point i want it to be explosive and just Boom. Like diarrhea. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that was about it. Uh, okay. Uh, Phineas first uh, takes offense that he, an honest businessman, would even have any clue as to where someone might be able to fence, I mean, sell uh, alleged stolen relics. But he has heard of a place, uh, and it is in the capital city. Of the turtles? No, he has not been to the turtle lands. Okay, I'm just making sure we're not going to the turtles' capital. Oh, no, <laughs> nope. He uh, he would much prefer uh, going uh, to where his people are because you know that's what he's familiar with. So as a result, he would say uh, play drill. Uh, Eli Toran would probably be your best bet in order to fence items. Uh, yeah. As you peruse through the items on the bridge, you also find a global map of the region. Uh, and as you can see, you are going to be, or you are going to assume uh, that you are somewhere over in this region uh, because you did have to cross the river at some point in time. Uh, give me uh, Arcana check, please. Copious. <laughs> These dice are not good today. Uh, let's call it eight. You have no idea where the turtle map uh, is along uh, Play Blyle. And, of course, Phineas cannot give any assistance to his captain, my captain. And I think that's what I will call you all night long. Fine. So uh, number one, point on the map again where you think we should be going. And he's pointing to Eli Toran, right? Correct. And he, and he, he says he capital. 
something's uh, on the outer edge of the island away from the, the bay where Eli Torian is. Yep, right here, just below the thick jungle. You guys are in the mountain region, hence the sliding down and uh, testicular damage. Oh, yeah, I'm still, I'm still talking like this. Hey, everybody, it's Mickey Mouse. <laughs> um, Somebody so, call Walt. <laughs> you know, I'm going to get kicked off of here again. Comcast has got my number already for that one. Well, that's, right. uh, that's strike two for you. <laughs> lose all privileges. No Disney Plus. You um, sound like my other Twitter account. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we're going to take our bearings. You're going to make me roll for that one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's You're going to end up in the ocean, Cruso. <laughs> Do you want Arcana or uh, uh, Survival? Uh, survival or Nature. I'll give you your choice. I, I don't think uh, it doesn't make an, any difference at all. Eight. You got this. We're screwed. We got this. <laughs> all right. We're safe. I'm going to call down. Number one, tell them to start rowing. Let's go. And I'm taking the, the helm. What is the count, sir? What was that? Uh, that will be <laughs> uh, that would be how fast you want them to row. Uh, uh, no, the screen froze. That's why I asked. What, what did you say? <laughs> Fifteen is an average speed. Asking for the count. How fast do you want them to roll, sir? A uh, single time. One, two, three. A string of profanities <laughs> aimed at all of you, except for Captain, my captain, uh, are unleashed. <laughs> Uh, with the general uh, overview of you need to get your butts in gear and start oh. rowing so we can... And who is saying this? First mate, Phineas Latrec. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> Number one. Is there anything handy that I can throw? Well, you're in the other room. <laughs> he's just yelling loud because he's the loudest. <laughs> this ain't gonna get me. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to the bottom, boys. Mr. Leaf, I said row. Okay, the ape is going to get out of his seat. And we're going to go up after Phineas. Phineas is going to start running around. So, folks at home, uh, the interior of the ship is built pretty much like an open kitchen plan where uh, you can run around. <laughs> so, as the ape lumbers through the tortle vessel, he can chase Phineas to his heart's content. Uh, the wily little gnome has already searched every nook and cranny, and he's going to hide from your, uh, shall we say, large frame. Well, I'm definitely chasing after him, so if I lose him. Uh, Man Fang, uh, you see Leaf the Druid in ape form chasing first mate Phineas Latrec. Captain, my captain. <laughs> uh, Copious, uh, the ape is going to come running through the bridge trying to kill Phineas. Do I know that the, the ape is Leaf? No. <laughs> Try to see this giant ape come chase charging across the. Nice. Uh, I'm sorry. That's what I hear. I can't stop it. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to call down below deck and say, "There's a. We've been boarded by an by an attack ape." <laughs> uh, <laughs> Man fan, Felix and Haggis, uh, you see a diminutive gnome run by yelling, ah, uh, followed by a lumbering ape running with those giant forearms chasing him. Um, I'm going to yell, why are there so many darn monkeys on this darn ship? I, I'm going to jump up and start running with the ape after him in that weird kind of shuffling motion. No, it's more like a lunge. I'm going to hop up to the bridge and have a little word with Copious. Okay. Uh, bad news, though. Uh, since nobody else told me uh, hell no on the first mate, I will assume that all of you gave one or two strokes to the oar. So y'all's moving, and you all's moving left towards the shore. <laughs> well, actually, me and Frankie just figured he's going to push, and I'm going to pull on the oars as we do it. Oh, so you're just spinning like a top 
Fair enough. Uh, with a three intelligence, though, will he figure out the right course? Sounds like a rule. I'm thinking yeah, a rule. I'll just let him do what he had to, and then I make corrections upon what he did. Opposite sides of the ship. <laughs> we can't see each other? No. Oh. Uh, I was picturing this Ben Hur hole. hole. Nope. You uh you would be over here on these bees and uh Manfang, Felix, and Haggis are on these. You're just yelling, hey, you know what'd be funny? And uh right right about now the ape is about here, and uh the gnome running for his life is here, assumed. All right, then I'm just gonna go full bore and start. <laughs> Don't forget legs. Never skip leg day. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, you're moving, Captain. Uh, your ship is in disarray, and as you look out the uh, slat, uh, <laughs> you are the sea serpent vessel. I'm going to cast Unseen Servant and have it go take an oar from the one that just was vacated to start rowing again. Fair enough. What is the strength of an Unseen Servant? Oh, it's low. Fairly low. About a gnome. <clears throat> uh, Leaf, give me a perception check. Let's see if you uh, catch sight of his butt. <coughs> uh, I got a, got a look. I got a new thing. Uh, 21. Uh, yeah, you see him. Uh, he cuts into the middle of the ship on the far side, your side, uh, and it looks like he's going to the hatch region. He's going right about uh, here. So he just went up on top? Uh, the bridge and K and L are a little bit raised, so it kind of it kind of resembles a ship, but then it has the upper hull. Uh, everything else is lower. Uh, okay. But this leads up to the center of the roof where you would control the mast or uh, lift the hatch, lift the hatch, yes. load your zonkeys. So is he still inside the ship? To the best of your, to the best of your knowledge. Okay. If he ran up in there, then I, I'm going to go ahead and head back over to where I came from. You sit on the unseen servant. <laughs> okay. Because your row is moving, or your oar is moving. And I can't see it, so I don't know what the hell it is. Nope. Um, and also, as you pass by Robert of Zeppelin, uh, you notice uh, he is just <clears throat> going for gusto. Yeah! Yeah! America! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Captain, my captain, it's time for you to D12 against me. Let's see uh, how bad your ship's doing. Ten. Oh, well, uh, you are managing to stay the course somehow, some way. Uh, but your first mate. Where's my first mate? It's nowhere to be seen. Uh, a moment later, as you look out the gap, uh, the head of Phineas Latrec <laughs> leans over the top of the upper hull and goes, is that thing still chasing me? No, I don't know where it went. <laughs> I'll be right back in. You hear clump, clump, clump. Uh, and uh, a few minutes later, around the Manfang Felix Haga's side, uh, your first mate comes in. I'll Not go back cap. and get, I'll go into one of the other bunk rooms and grab an oar. Okay. Uh, at this point, we are we moving away from the shore or along the shoreline? You were until Leaf chose a different section. Now you've got too many oars moving on the right side. Uh, yeah, I believe I was headed up to the bridge. I had some stuff that I needed to discuss with Copious. That is correct. Go ahead, Felix. So It's captain by captain. Oh, captain, captain my <laughs> captain. Your ship is in total disarray down there. And not only that, but I have a feeling that you can't get your head out of your hat. Never, hat, yes, that's a polite way to put it. And do you have any idea where we're headed? Perhaps I could be of some assistance. I happen to have with me a set of navigators tools that I brought on this adventure from a long time ago. I forgot that I had them actually. Uh, it says that 
They can be used for navigation at sea and it gives us a proficiency bonus. Perhaps you need a navigator and my services I would like to offer. So I'd be much better here than I will down at the oars. So Send that first mate and make a new one. Copius explodes uh, at this dereliction of duty at sea. Exactly. Because failure to, uh, to announce your abilities in a time of war is punishable by death. <laughs> so he, he chastises Felix and it says, now, and he rolls, rolls out the map, throws it down, said, if you're a navigator, we're going here. And he points at the map. He has no idea what he's pointing at. He just points at the map <clears throat> and said, Mr. Latrec, inform this fool where we're going. And then oh, Captain, I feel like I must interject. The green parts of the map are land. The blue parts are water. You have pointed to land. Uh, turtle land. <laughs> turtle land. He's looking at like, of course I'm pointing at the map. I'm the captain, not the navigator. Now go navigate. I'm on the blue box. Who had gnome dies in this scenario? All right, just checking. <laughs> oh. So you're saying you want to go here. And I'm going to point to... Eli Turan, I hope. Uh, that's what we're it depends to on where you pointed. But I'm thinking you pointed to the tortle area. What was it? Fatar? Uh, Fatar, but it doesn't look like Fatar. It's uh, just off the coast. And it is... There with your navigator. So that's where he pointed. Yep. But um, I'm telling you, I'm pointing at Eli Turan. Yes. Can you I believe, read the map, or is it all in portal? Uh, it is. It is not in portal per se. It is in common, uh, and you can recognize the logistical maneuvers uh, using the regional map. Okay. All right, Captain. We'll go to Eli Turan. Where so are you pointed? Is he taking the the uh, 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 the the wheel? Me? Yeah. Uh, I'm the navigator. I'm charting a course. It, would you like me to take the helm? I just said that. How many times do I have to tell you what to do? Well, you got a little bit of a stutter here. Maybe you don't have your sea tongue yet. It's quite. I'll a give you a sea understand. tongue. I'll give you a lashing like you've never had. Bows and flowers. Get on deck. Uh, Felix, I'm going to need you to make a perception check. <laughs> Put the captain in the pool box. Is this related to navigation? Yep. Ooh, then I get a plus three bonus, I believe, with those navigator's tools for proficiency. 16, 21. You're uh, veering towards the coast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, captain. Perhaps you need to get the people on the oars in sync so that we can get away from the coast, not towards it, where the the uh, big turtle are coming to slaughter us. For do you have more ship. guidance than that, Mister Felix? Yes, I do. Side. It's so totally calling out strokes. Damn it! Which which side's pulling too hard? Right side. The right uh, side. Robert and Leaf. It's I'm Robert call, and Leaf. I'm gonna call out, Mister <laughs> Latrec. <laughs> And fall on the right side captain. to slow strokes. Uh, let me correct you all. It's Robert and Donkey Kong. <laughs> oh, that's true. Uh, cap my captain, I uh, don't think that is a wise idea. Perhaps you should do it, and I can call out the left side. <laughs> is this mutiny, Mr. Latrec? No, it is saving my hide, Captain, my captain. <laughs> Arr, he's going to grumble. Said, and he's, he's still rolling. He's got he has two dice in his hand. He's rolling them. He's got a leftover dice he found in the brig. SpongeBob, me boy. SpongeBob, me Bob. Call call down to uh, the left side to slow the stroke. Slow the stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Noodle, uh, give me an intelligence check to see if you know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what it means. So I'm just gonna sh I'm just gonna stroke slowly. <laughs> Not yet. Give him a couple of years. <laughs> Speed up. Unfortunately, <laughs> Captain, Alex. Captain, that is going to accelerate the movement to the left. Uh, and Wrong side. Feel dummy. a big Captain. jolt <laughs> as you are beached. <laughs> Reverse stroke. <laughs> You're stuck. 
<laughs> the hell? Let's go. Oh, can I, can I you? Yeah. Uh, Robert Donkey Kong Haggis. Uh, oh, oh. It's just not paying off to pull those oars anymore. Let's go backwards. I, I have a stop. thought. Yes, Captain. Felix, do you have a mithril tube in your pocket, or are you just glad to be the navigator? <laughs> oh, hell no. I do. <laughs> what hell no. Possibly. What? Did, did, do you not remember what happened <laughs> out there where I saved everybody? I'm going to be the hero again today. You can be the We've stuck. We've run aground on a sandbar. Uh, as you look out the slat, a lot of trees on that sandbar. <laughs> you have Clearly pretty much desolate. perpendicular. Hit the shore, dumbass. <laughs> Clearly a desolate island. I'm going to get up and go outside and take a look. Still is an ape, right? Yeah, I'm an ape. Yeah, when the ape shows its head above the thing, I'm shooting it with the Eldritch Blast because I still don't know it's... You right, do I've got a new to. spell of my own. Uh, Leaf, in ape form, uh, you see some movement in the woods. Uh, give me a ooh, ooh, investigation ooh, check to see if you ooh. know what it is. Okay. Give me Dr. Pepper. Ooh, uh, was that? Ooh, ooh, two. Ooh, ooh. Uh, 19. Tabaxi. Crack you up on a cold. I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm gonna switch back my form and whisper down. As it was dumbass, or I mean, excuse me, Captain on the deck, up on top. Captain is on the bridge. I'm gonna whisper to. He uh, is here on D. You are up on M, in the center of the. Vessel. Okay, I'm gonna whisper to the captain. I don't see Tanil, but. Tell him there's tabaxi in the trees. He's, he's not going to hear you if you whisper. Come down and be Whisper louder. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll move good. towards the captain to tell him. Okay. It, it doesn't take long as you arrive. Uh, you greet Copius. Phineas Latrec reminds you that is Captain, my captain, sir. Uh, Felix is also present, checking out the charts. And funk, an arrow lands. Right on the inside strip of the observational window. Is Phineas close enough that I can reach him? D12 against me? Picks him up. Barricade! That'd be a 10. Yep. I'm going to backhand him. Fair enough. And he's normal size, man. What do I roll for that? <laughs> uh, AC 10. Well, that's a 13 plus 2 plus 1, 14. Unarmed strike is house rules, 1d4 plus your strength bonus. That's really two points. Watch. Two points. I bust his lip. Noted, Lord Leaf. <laughs> I'm looking at uh, the whole affair. Stoic <laughs> Son of a bitch. I've been wanting to do that all day. <laughs> is Leaf, I'm going to ask him, Mr. Leaf, are you auditioning for first mate? No, there's tabaxi, funk, as funk you can tell. Two there's, there's now tabaxi shooting in to the ship. Well, we're, we have a tabaxi, we're shore. We have a tabaxi of our own. Let's call down and see if he'll come up and pop his head up the, the hatch and see if that will stop the, the fire. Wait, they're going to shoot him in the head. Oh, Captain. Yes. I have Felix. determined our position on the map, and I have vectored us a course for Eli Turan. Uh, we need to turn to zero six zero and start going that way. Okay. Hey, Suggestions hey, to get us cat. off this sandbar. Uh, we Holy need shit. we need to get our people down to the road oars <laughs> and we need a drum or something so that we can get everybody in time. Chime. A chime. <laughs> Perhaps a little tune. <laughs> cowbell. Need we need more cowbell. More cowbell. cowbell. Uh, sounds like a great plan, Mr. Felix. Hankering for cow. I had, I had uh, uh, three more arrows. Correct. Trying to call the hey. stroke. But... Is there a hatch there I can close? You're up on the bridge. Uh, there yeah. is a slider that you can close the viewing portal. Yeah, I'll go ahead and close the slider right now where the arrows are coming in. Okay. 
before somebody gets shot? Maybe I should leave it open and just leave the bridge. That might be a better Robert and Noodle, give me perception checks. One. One. I want this to be a one. What's that? Na well, natural 20 plus two. 22. Seven. Wait, no. It's eight. Sorry. Eight. Uh, Robert, you hear light cat paws. Uh, hopping around the spiked surface of the upper hall. There's somebody moving around up top. I shall investigate. Well, the only way to investigate is to go up there yourself, and that requires you to leave your station, mutiny, uh, and go to M and go up top. It's only, it's only mutiny if you take him as your captain. I had Amen. Him. Okay, I'm coming up to M. For master of the stroke <laughs> to tabaxi let's go with initiative yeah. you gotta set him on fire dad that that is no that's, that's 20. 20 plus three dad set him on fire uh two nat 20s uh you got the plus three so you get to go Dad, they're cats that have fur. They can burn. Yes, yes, son. I love you. Burn on. Shut, Shut up. Do it. Do <laughs> it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Shut up. Two tabaxi against yeah. you. All right. All right. We got this. We got this. Okay. Shoot. Uh, where are they located at? Are they? Uh, they are located on uh, to your left and to your right. They are a boarding party. So they are in J and what would be above G, the uh, treasury. All right. I am going to the one in J. Okay. Hey. 18 plus three. Oh, it's well over 25. Uh, it, 12 is what you need. Yeah, we, we killed that one. Uh, Been a while. I gotta remember what my dice are. Here we go. Seven plus five, 12. 12 points of damage. Are you yelling out for assistance? Of course. Uh, I've got to uh, cry. Give I'll me a out. straight up D20, please. Noodle report for duty. 20. 18. Uh, everybody else roll 18 or above to actually hear Robert <laughs> now that the portal is closed. Not me. <laughs> is that just a straight up? Straight up. Nope. Nothing. Man Fang? Nope. No, no. You're on your own, Robert, and it's my turn. Screw it. Let's unleash the dragon, baby. Uh, one is definitely a miss. Uh, the other is a 16. Nope. Uh, they miss. Uh, nobody's coming, uh, and it's top of the order, so it's your round. All right. Well, you know what? Let's do. Note that you are only halfway out of the hatch. And we're only halfway out of the hatch. You are. They're on top. Oh, I thought it came out of the hatch. Dad, did you know that boats are very resistant to fire? Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna find out. Okay, fireball. Now. <laughs> oh, firebolt! Firebolt! Oh, okay. <laughs> I said ball. I know. I got excited. A little overzealous. Captain, Captain Full Bitters of the USS Lusitania. Okay, fireball. <laughs> 19. That was a hit. And the ship is called the SS Crispy. Crispy. Nine, six points of damage. Same one or different one? Same one. Okay. Uh, are you still Fire. yelling? Yelling again. Give me a D20. He's gonna, you know what? He's gonna yell bonsai and pour Nineteen again. Soul. He's gonna yell. Everybody bonsai. roll a d twenty to see if you hear him. Nineteen. If you roll a d twenty. Roll d twenty. Ah, oh, there you go. Eighteen. Copious. That's a lot, man. Ooh. Man fang. No. Uh, grape ape. Uh, I'm listening to my death metal as I try and push. Right, nice. Your Walkman getting in the way. I, I, I'm going to tell, of course, they it's not, it might as well turn and talk to the damn wall. I'll tell Copius and Felix that Robert. Captain, is my in, captain? Is it? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll bring it on, Phineas. 
Next time there'll be a blade in that hand. I will tell them that Robert's in a pitched battle in the hatch with Tabaxi. And then I'm uh, heading for the hatch. The two Tabaxi take their turn at you. Uh, an eight and a three. I don't even have to play with my modifiers there. Round three, Robert. Uh, you still don't know if anybody's coming. I'm fighting like it's the last battle ever. The battle it might be. <laughs> 17 plus 7. We're called 25. 2. 22. Mm -hmm. That's a hit. Easily. Plus 7. Another. Oh, no. 10 points. 10 points of damage. Same one. Uh, he drops. Of course he does. Uh, D12 against me. Let's see if he drops on the hull, on the spikes, or slides off the ship. 7. 9. He impales himself on one of the spikes on the outer hull. Uh, the other one takes his crack just as Leaf uh, climbs the other ladder. Do you know Cat is a delicacy in China? Yes. Uh, 17? Korea 2. Uh, oh. 17 is my magic number. I'm armor class 17. Ouch. Uh, eight hit points maxes out on you. Sons you killed my brother. Prepare to die. Uh, Leaf, uh, I will let you sneak in at the end of this battle before okay. you roll initiative. I've got this cool lightning spell. I'm just dying to use it. Well, uh, give me a perception check. You should blast up at him. No, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm just kidding. There, well, perception check. Let's see if you see what you don't know yet. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, an eight. A 16. 16. Uh, there's about five more tabaxi wading into the water to come get you. Oh. 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 You're going to turn on Donkey Kong and smash it. So what you want to oh, do? My, my attack. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm intensely waiting. I'm to sitting here thinking. That's, I had 12. All you did was laugh evil. That's, that's a hit. That's a okay. hit. Come on, hobo. Come on, hobo dice. <laughs> Seven. Uh, to Every time it comes up, I think you got them loaded to show your logo. Uh, what uh, What were you doing? Just straight up attack? Yeah, just straight up attack with a scimitar. Gotcha. So seven on number two. Yes. Uh, Felix, were you headed that way? Uh. <laughs> He'd be headed the other no. damn way. Are you kidding? Okay. Uh, I'm uh, not going to head that way. I'm going to stay here with Copious and try to figure out how the hell we can get everybody rowing the same way. I'm going to look around in the bridge for like a drum or something that we can beat. You could hide in? Yes. Uh, you will find bongos. Boom, 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 boom. Like Donkey Kong. Do you remember that game? <laughs> yep. Uh, Leaf, go ahead and do your initiative roll because uh, Robert and I both got nat 20s. You're muted. Yeah. Okay. Uh, nat 15. 20s. Okay, 15. Robert, you and I are up. Go ahead. All right. <coughs> 14, 7, 8, 21. We're golden. Yep. What's the dice mark? Well, there it is. Woohoo! Eight plus the five. Thirteen. Thirteen more damage. Uh, how many get up on the boat? Uh, three get on the boat this round and start crawling towards you guys. Uh, odd Robert, even Leaf. I didn't like getting hit by Leaf, so I'm going to go after him. Okay. Nat 20. Ooh. Hey, you missed. You know, if I had um eight max damage, uh, Leaf, you are up. You hear uh, leaping bodies behind you. Okay, I'm just I'm reading this thing to see what it does. Uh, it explodes in there. now. With the bodies landing on the, are they all landing and still in that M section, Frank? Or are they got, landing elsewhere on got, the ship? One there impaled. Uh, this one here has not died yet, so we don't know what happens to him. Then we have one, two, three, and two more after that coming. 
but at, from D, the bridge, we can't hear or see anything at this point? Uh, no, because you A, you've got the viewing portal shut to not get shot with arrows, uh, and they're more towards the center of the ship, uh, and that's the sturdiest part of the ship, so uh, it doesn't uh, resonate sound as well. How big is that area, M? Uh, it spans the entire width of the ship, and it is about 10 feet wide because you have two five-foot staircases on either side. Gotcha. How, far, how far away are they, are they from uh, whoever's closest to them? Uh, that would be you, mm -hmm. and they are 10 feet. They will be active uh, next round. I want to call lightning down on the center one. I guess we're destroying this ship. I guess yeah. I'll set it on fire. Hey, what the hell? And are those metal spikes on top of the deck? They are indeed. I like the one scene from Man of Steel, just except it's the ground's not going to be vibrating. It's just going to turn to fire. Yes, this was built on a Korean ship model uh, called a tortoise shell ship. And the spikes were to keep people from coming on, but as we all know, felines are very dexterous, so they are just hopping away. All right. Go ahead and call lightning, Leaf. Call lightning. That's uh, that's DC is sixteen on that one. Or Dex. Uh, you light me up. You light up my life. Any of them within five feet of the center one. Both of them. All three. That is uh, nine and seven. Sixteen points for each. Ouch. Uh, well, they don't have any whiskers. Uh, top of the order. Let's see if the other two get on board. Uh, everybody four. is on board now. Uh, land? Robert, you can go. There's only the one next to you that you can reach. The one facing, uh, the one on J a minute ago, the, okay. one of the originals. So he's facing towards leaf, right? Yes. Okay. He hit Leaf last round. Smack him, Dad. I did. I hit him for 21 again. Not 21 points. I hit. All right. 10 points of damage. Uh, he's going to croak. What's he going to do? I, I want to sever his tail and whirl it around doing a cat call. Uh, he also impales himself on a spike. That leaves you with four aggressors. Three uh, get to go. However, remember, you and I tied. So although he's dead, who's he going to go after? He's going after even Leaf. 18 plus. Uh, 18 hits me. Three hit points, and he falls over dead on a spike. The other three... Uh, Odd Robert, even Leaf. Uh, Leaf. Leaf. And Robert. So the three that can attack this round, not the two that just boarded, two on Leaf, one on Robert. So on Leaf. Uh, 13 and three. Does a 17 get you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, two plus two is four on Robert. Seven plus four is only 11. Uh, Leaf, you got three, two in your grill, one next to you, and two more coming up over the ship. And not a helper in sight. But you know what? Robert, D12 against me. D12? Yep. Eight. Eight, uh, Leaf, as you sum up the situation, uh, you hear the peepful noise of Pierre Glam Bone. Hey, guys, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> he sticks his head out of the hatch. <laughs> I will tell him we're under attack. Go alert the rest of them. Yes, sir. Hey, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, watch out. <laughs> Watch out, punk. Go ahead, so, Leaf. Uh, here's my question. Uh, now, I, I, how much damage did I take that time? Uh, three or four, I'm sorry. Four? Mm -hmm. Two um, plus two. 
Where's that, the uh, would, new, next three? Where are they at in the comments? Does that break my concentration? That's my question. <laughs> roll up. Excuse me. Roll a D20. Uh, ten or better, it does not. Okay. <coughs> uh, 19. Yep, does not break your concentration. Okay. Robert, of those three, one is on you, two are on Leaf, and the other two will be in combat next round. Uh, what are wise, how I want to, I can control where this lightning hits. Okay. And it's a, it does a, a, uh, it's a five foot radius, uh, five foot, it's actually 10 foot diameter circle oh. is what it is. Three, uh, but I'm going to have you roll a D20 because if it's a one or a two, Robert is also in that area. <laughs> Wait a minute. Welcome back, Frank. <laughs> uh, sorry, 18. So just those three. Uh, 12, 5, and 16. What's the modifier? 16. No, what is the... The DC that, modifier is 16. Yeah, is it based on charisma or what? Oh, that's dex. Uh, only plus two. So only one of them evaded. Uh, the other two took full damage, I okay. assume. Oh, and that full damage is going to be 18 points. Uh, that's going to kill two. Uh, and nine puts the other one at 25. Uh, he be hurting, Robert. Uh, new round. Uh, copious Felix Manfang. Hey, hey, the, the druid guy, he's getting attacked. You better call oh, Holt. <laughs> You're in the uh, hole. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. so Felix, copious, and Manfang. Any of you guys want to go help or Felix and help. copious? Yeah, I'll go help. I'm going to take out my axe and yell, I'm going. Dunk, 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 dunk. We, we hear Manfang running to the, the fray, right? Yep. And I'm going to ask uh, uh, the, the bone guy, whatever his name is. Uh, Pierre. Pierre. <laughs> Pierre. Captain, my captain. <clears throat> Does he have it under control? Has he thrown the invaders from <laughs> my ship yet? There were at least 12 instigators, Captain, my captain. I'm going to be disgusted by it and, and uh, jump down off of the chair I've been standing on to uh, go towards the combat. Fair enough. Uh, you and Felix will be there at the end of next round. Manfang will be there at the beginning of next round because he's running. He is running. Uh, Robert, you and I tied. Uh, yours is looking really frazzled from the call lightning two more are coming the Where first are they one is coming after coming. uh one is coming after you two are coming after you i'm going to uh sure uh, so now you have three one is on death's door leaf has one okay okay i'm going to uh Try to figure out what I want to do. I don't know all these new things. I'll just shoot. Surrender. All right. Surrender is in our creed. It's never in mine. It's a tactical. It's a tactical advantage. Uh, the dragon's attacking. Please. <laughs> I'll stop. Sixteen plus three. Easily. 19. Are you trying to kill one of the two fresh ones, or the really bad off one? The really bad off one that's at a distance, I'm fire bolting it. Sure. Fireball would be more And that effective. would be nine points of damage. Dead as Lincoln. <laughs> and you know what? I miscounted. Uh, there's only two left. Uh, one on Copious, one on you. But Robert, uh, as we've said before, you and I tied. So for right now, you have two on you. Of course. Four and eight, they're not going to hit you. The dead one, uh, he starts to slide down the stairs. Uh, on Leaf, 12 plus four is 16. You're muted. Mute. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that hits me. Six damage. Oh, I'm a lightweight. Uh, Copious, Felix, you are rushing. 
Noodle, you are here. Why don't you go ahead and stick your head up on the stairway by Robert, even uh, the stairway by Leaf. Roll. Die six. Odd or even. What'd you get? Three. That's, uh... That's you. Uh, you yeah. cannot adequately make it up there because there is a dead tabaxi hanging down through the portal. You will have to remove him this round in order for you to get up. Top of the order, Robert and I. My turn again? Yep. All right. Uh, where's the close? There's one right next to me. Fully healthed. So that's 22. And that is 10 points of damage. Nice. Uh, my attack on you, 19 plus. Attack on Leaf, 18 plus. Ooh, eight to both of you. Max damage as I can sue the shit out of you. Leaf, you are up. Well, I'm not going to use lightning again. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to just attack with my uh, scimitar. Scimitar. Um, yeah, I have 12, 12 hits. 12 hits? Scimitar. Uh, five points. Okay, here's where it gets murky. Noodle, you have successfully brought down the corpse just as Copius and Felix have arrived. Copius and Felix, give me odd or even, please. Even. Odd. Uh, Felix and Noodle, D12 against each other. 11. Noodle? Noodle, D12. Seven. Captain, my captain, has uh, zipped around the corpse, climbed up the stairs next to Leaf. He is present. Felix, you have launched yourself using Noodle's back as a lift and sprang up through the stairs next to Robert. On Robert, there is one. Copious. On Leaf, there is one. Uh, I'm going to cast Mage Armor on myself. Or flat armor of shadows, and then uh, Eldritch Blast, two beams, one at each of the two critters. Now, I want to try this. I've always Shitty wanted to try shooting? This. <laughs> I've always wanted to try this. I'm going to pick you up. You're going to hold the sword right at your head. I'm going to throw you like a dart. I'm going to try that. With a Felix, you're wearing a kilt, right? So that Manfang can look straight up. <laughs> Not today. Although, right. after those trees, it may have been a kilt. It turned into a kilt. When was the last time you wiped? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Copious, what are you doing with your uh, Eldritch Blast? Do 12 to hit. Uh, I hit the one on Leaf and missed the one on uh, Robert. How bad? <laughs> I did not fumble. Okay. <laughs> I got a natural two. Uh, Robert, you turn your head just as that magical bolt of entry nearly clips your eyebrows off. 13. And you realize in your heart that was on purpose. 13 to Leafs? Yep. Uh, that's up to 16. Uh, Felix, with all that physical exertion, give me a con save, please. Your groin is on fire. 18. But you aren't sweating. You're up and ready to go. You are there to help Robert. Uh, my groin's always on fire. It says, I might use the tread. Whatever it is. So, am I able to do a sneak attack right now on this thing? It is engaged with Robert. Let's do it. I'm certain that I don't hit with uh, an 11. Close. 12 is your magic number. Nope. I missed with both swords. You have both missed uh, Copious and Felix. Uh, there's no horde here. Uh, Robert, you and I, top of the order. Round six. All right. I am going to uh, step back a little bit, do a little 
concentrated magic. Stepping back is going to require you to dex check it or put a spike through your foot. Okay. <laughs> How about you just back up really slowly because we don't want it to be like that one sign. I'll stand here. I've been pretty lucky. I'm just going to stand here then. Okay. Cast some magic. That's my turn. It's gonna be if, if you backed up. It's gonna be like what magic are you casting? Caps on the nail. Uh, just concentration. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> one to four, Robert. Five to six, Felix. One, it'll go after Robert. Leaf, one to four. Copious, five to six. Going after Copious. So on Robert. Uh, Ten plus four is fourteen. Uh, 10 plus 4 is 14 on Copious. Two swings, two misses. Leaf, you are up. Copious, Captain Copious has joined the fray and is helping you out. Even though his pew pew's a little off. A uh, little off? Yeah. I think it was, it was spot on for what he wanted to do. Just trying to get rid of that unibrow, Robert. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Feel the heat, baby. Feel the heat. Sorry. Six points. Uh... Still up. Uh, that brings us to Copious and Felix. Copious, you've been spotted. Felix, apparently, your tabaxi doesn't care. Whoever so, swung at me is getting attacked me. still. <gasps> is that a one? That's a one. Uh, odd, you even leaf. <laughs> you know what? Shout, what? What was it? Was it Eldritch Blast? Eldritch Blast, yeah. One to two, you. Three to four, Leaf. Five or six, La Bota. Two. Okay. Oh, that hurts. Shoot yourself in the foot, Tex. Uh, Felix, Ooh. you're up. <laughs> it's like the one guy. Who, does the other beam still hit, or do they both miss? Both oh, miss? what was the other roll? The other roll was 13. Yep, that hits. That <laughs> Did six points of damage on that, and then I did three points of damage to myself. Nice, Felix. So I'm going to attack the Tabaxi again. Can I sneak attack one more time? It's still focused on Robert. Sounds good. I hit him with both swords here, and it's going to be a crushing blow. Oh, well, I assume I hit him because you said twelve. Twelve. Oh yeah, yeah, I do. Uh, Ten, eleven, plus fifteen. D six. Damage? How much? 26. Oh, yeah. You lop off his head. Uh, his body slides in between the spikes and slides off into the drink. Copious, uh, yours is deceased, and it has fallen on a spike. So you're going to have a lot of wind drag with so many of them on the spikes. Uh, I believe Felix was trying to cut the tails off. We can use the bodies as anchors. Oh, Robert. Uh, <laughs> Dan Fang, congratulations. You've made it up atop the upper hall just in time to see nobody there. Uh, everybody yeah. give me a perception check. Uh, smell, if that matters. Natural 20. Uh, 21. I'm not even, I fumbled. I rolled a nine. Uh, leaf, copious. Uh, the ones embedded on the spikes smell something familiar. Wacky tobacco. Yeah, do they? Might be a little meowy wowy going on. I'm patting down the one that smell that I smell like that to see if they have it on them. Each has a package of uh, craft cheddar cheese size meowy wowy wrapped in parchment. Everybody, give me perception check. I'll take the highest. Uh, 20 natural. Oh. At eight's 28. 24. Well, uh, natural. I'm not even bothering to roll. Leaf, uh, you notice uh, the smell, but then you look over onto shore and there sits a burrow. I'm going to head for the shore. <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell Felix. I said, Felix, these, these might be part of the, the, the cat we have in the halls group we need to get these bodies off the ship before he sees them i completely agree with that and i will help you do that let's start throwing them over here. i'm gonna pat them down while i'm doing it yes there's what i wanted to hear <laughs> pat them down and going overboard yep i'm stopping the unseen servant from the oars down below to help pull the bodies off he's picking up the heads 
Okay. Scrubbing the deck of the blood. No trace. All the heads towards the side that the captain's on or whatever. Uh, wait a second. <laughs> Where was Tony Dakota during this whole thing? He was sitting at his oar station. He follows orders or people die. Sir, yes, sir. Ah, good, yes. Some members of this crew are very well aware that they need to get the flock out of here. They're uh -huh. in a stolen uh -huh. whistle. <laughs> uh, Copius, we're going to need to tell him what the hell just happened when we get back down there. Let's just tell him that we're freeing the ship off the sandbar or something. It because you do need to free the ship off yes, the sandbar. You yeah. need to free the ship off the sandbar. Yes, I still Wait. think the, the mithril tube is the way to go. <laughs> I kind of thought yes. so too, but it's a dangerous thing. Luckily, I've got magic fingers and I can do this. You know what? I think Copius is trying his best to persuade you. Leaf, uh, let's see your dismount from the ship. What do I need to use? Uh, I'll give you deck. I rolled another natural 20, so I think I made it. So, so apparently Leaf, the only sane druid is backslip David a Carradine, a monk, uh, flipping off, running to shore, splashing as he goes. Uh, give me a straight up D20. Let's see if you scare the burrow. Oh, I'll bumble this one. <laughs> uh, straight up, I rolled an eight. Okay. Uh, it doesn't much care for you, but it's not going to go on the run. You get a hold of it, and it has... Well, quite a few items on it. Uh, the items that it has is going to be up to a D6 roll. One to two, three to four, five to six. Four. It has meowie wowie on it. A lot. So each of the craft cheese bricks is 50 gold pieces. There were three of those. Uh, Leaf has a considerable amount more, almost to the tune of a thousand gold pieces worth of meowie wowie. Now, give me animal handling to see if you can get the donkey or the burrow up onto the ship. Okay. Somebody is going to have to release the hatch. You know, even in California, you're not allowed to carry that. That would be a 22. But nobody's released the hatch yet. I was going to say, uh, is he trying to bring the burrow on the ship? I. Yep. <laughs> The cat's still on the ship. Tony Dakota, we're, there's a real good chance I'm trying to persuade him with my magic ring. However, hang on, Go on. Hey, I'm gonna yell, I'm gonna yell up at the deck for somebody to open the hatch. I'll open the hatch. Yeah. Permission to come aboard. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what we do, Copious. We tell Dakota that we we're coming up here to free the ship from the sandbar, and we happen to see this lone burrow running around, scared out of its wits. I like it. I'll carry the message hey, to Tony. Uh, Captain, Captain Copius, there's two of us. Uh, the burrow is now on the deck. Uh, the good news is the tabaxi is on the far side. So, Leaf, you can go ahead and get the uh, burrow over to where the zonkeys and the okay. gila we do are. that but we still got to get this thing off the sandbar that is correct you guys are still <laughs> stranded a look around shows no signs of other movement in the jungle aside from okay. birds and small chimpanzees who will most likely throw poo at you at some point in time <laughs> and it appears as though you've uh, landed on a small spit of sand jutting out from the coast here's what i'm gonna do I'll get up in front of the ship and I'm going to cast Thunder Wave and see if I can shove it back off the sandbar. Yeah, I thought about that, but the uh, two die freaking eight damage or whatever it is just kind of said, no, that's probably a bad idea. Or when I love this idea. Cracks the main sail or uh, cracks the hull right in half. Snaps the well, not if it's well placed. It says it. It says that it, it that it, unsecured objects that are completely within the area effect are automatically pushed ten feet away from you. I say it's a plan. Let's do it. Yeah, Mr. Leaf. Of course, a, it sets oh. off a hell of a boom. Well, so I like it better than that. disruption idea. Or we could try to push it off if all of us get out here. Well, let's try to push it first. If all of us get out and push it, it'll also raise the ship a little bit. 
Although the ship's pretty big, it's not going to make that much of a difference. It's not like a canoe. Here. I'm thinking maybe if we light some of that uh, Maui Wai, because that'll make you higher. And we might be high enough to clear to, the sand. Bar. I totally agree. We need to fill this ship with Miaui Wowie smoke immediately. It will fly off into the sunset. Let's get off and see if we can push it off. Yes. All right. Everybody roll strength check who's getting off and push. I, I'm turning back into my ape form. Well, let me warn everybody this time. I'm going to assume my ape beast form. What do you, what do you mean you're assuming an ape beast? What, what the hell's that mean? No, so, well, I'll just go ahead and turn into an ape. D20, add your strength modifier. Give me your total. I'm 17. Can I, can I get the, plus the three and to push? 20. Yeah, wait a second. Aren't these gnomes? Don't they have gnomish strength? That's why I'm trying to get the gnome out there. there. Get the gnomish strength down there. Uh, I think it has more to do with smell than anything else. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm, Pierre and Phineas are not answering. The tabaxi's like, do you want me to go check on him, sir? Captain, my captain? Yes, yeah, please yeah. do that. I, I'm still curious as to what Robert's spell is. I, I, I sent that to you. Oh, shit. He's going to oh. the ship. Oh, uh, it's not metal. There's none on it? No yeah, class. It is felt. Oh, maybe jewelry then. We'll just oh, do my, jewelry. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, okay. Uh, my hat is not catching on fire, you putz. You're not trying to catch it on fire. Uh, <laughs> Noodle, are you uh, are you pushing? Noodle. Noodle. Are you pushing? Uh, yeah. uh, uh, who's Once the again, that intelligence of five is kicking in. Uh, yeah. You rolled a 16. Yeah. And strength What's modifier? Strength? That was with the strength modifier. Gotcha. <laughs> Leaf, what was yours? Mute. As the ape, it was 20. That okay. was with the modifier. And 17 was Felix, correct? Yep. Uh, Copius, are you trying? No, he's standing on the foredeck screaming down encouragement. Uh, you're also screaming because your hands are on fire. Because somebody... <laughs> <laughs> Those metal rings are heating up fast. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to jump down into the water and see if it puts it out. No, that's magic. <laughs> <laughs> that's although what you're going to try. Although you do steam it up. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you don't have more than uh, 50 points. It's not a budget. Oh, you guys want well, to down there push yeah, down you guys, uh, my best suggestion would be get on board. I, I didn't jump down and push yet, but. Oh, oh are you going to? Well, let's just, just, hand there? Let's just go right yeah. there. Yeah. Copious, yeah. you need to push. Little, Where's Robert? Yeah, yeah. Captain got in the water. Yeah, so you were turning down. just into Phineas. I swear, you lollygag through the Nizumi ruins. You lollygag the ship. What does that make him? A lollygagger. Oh, a lollygagger. Uh, everybody notices that uh, Pierre Glambone sticks his head up and he goes, good luck, everybody. We're counting on you before he drops back down into the ship. <laughs> 23. Bonus and all. Yes. 76 points. You, you need just a little bit more oomph, you think. Can't hear you, Leaf. Somebody go get those gnomes and get their asses out here. Well, I can't. My hands are on fire. I'm, I'm talking about the other two gnomes. I, no, I mean, I can't. My hands are on fire. Take the rings off. Uh, do you think that's a good idea? Beauty is pain. They're not coming off. I'll go. I'll go tell the gnomes. I'm going to run up. Go back in. Tell the gnomes. I'll tell Dakota to stay put. And then I'm also going to look for a line or something on this ship so that we uh, can hang on to it before it drifts off into the sea. Boy, <laughs> you almost botched the ball there. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can find some rope and you can attach it to uh, eye holes. I, sewed a rope eye eye holes. I, I was going to let it sail away. <laughs> well, I started thinking about it and then I was like, the Treasure and the zonkeys. Captain Haggis, <laughs> Tony Dakota. Robert over here's got a line of cattails. I made a rope of cattails. 
Yeah, I'm sure that'll hold. Uh, OPS D12. Let's see if the boys are hiding from you. They hold my pants up. <laughs> Two. Uh, one of them's hiding from you, so you get one of the other gnomes. Go ahead and roll a D20 for that gnome. You get one of them. Their bonus will be zero. Eleven. That is enough. Uh, you struggle. Everybody pushes. Uh, furrow is created in this sandbar. And uh, the great ship, whatever you want to name it, uh, begins to move off into the water. Okay. Felix wraps his hand around the rope, says, everybody get on, everybody get on, or doesn't say shit at all, and it's Captain Felix. <laughs> Has a ring to it. Yeah. Of all right. I got this little teeny You can call hat. it the gambler. I think we'll call it the cumpler. <laughs> Uh, everybody give me dex checks to make sure that you can leap back aboard. I'll roll for the gnome. Ooh, 18. Gnomish dexterity. Oh, uh, seven. <laughs> <Not so much. laughs> Ooh, 11. 11's good. Okay. Anything, who got below 10? Nope. What'd you roll? Let me see. What did I roll? Dexterity. Dexterity. Ah, 14. I'm okay, I guess. He's okay. What'd you get, Robert? Oh, I got a 14 plus. Uh, Leaf is the only one splashing through, apparently, that acrobatic trick. Uh, maybe pulled a hammy or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to throw on the rope, Felix? Yeah, no, I'll throw on the rope. Is he still an ape or is he changed back into. I'm still an ape. I can He's climb up the side of the ship. Do you like water? Well, by all means. Quit splashing around. This, this isn't a bloody splish splash club. Uh, you guys have pushed your vessel out into the water, kind of the deep part. Everybody is back on board. Uh, captain, my captain, what would you like to do? Well, let's have a... Uh, I believe he was talking to me. Go ahead. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Felix. I, my hand's still are hurting, right? Uh, yeah, uh, no, I don't think they are. I'm going to say, does does anyone have a really strong sense of rhythm? Uh, well, Felix thinks he does, but it's not the kind you're looking for. No, I'm not. Not Clarence Carter. <laughs> uh, he did. Felix did find some bongos. That's why I'm, anybody have a strong sense of rhythm. I'm I'm holding the bongos. Uh, I have. I can kind of do like an in and out rhythm oh, motion. It's very. Is, is there anyone with any musical ability at all in this party? Uh, you know, Dragonborn. Perhaps like a musical, like a, like a traveling musician or something along that vein. Captain, but, Captain, you know, Captain our Phineas Crack have been known to carry a tune. I carry a tune, Mister Phineas. Yeah, uh, he is a bard. Yeah. Who's a bard? Uh, Robert uh, of Zeppelin. Uh, Robert, uh, give me a con save, please. Mm -hmm. I rolled a 17. I don't even know what my con is there. Oh, plus yep. Three. Plus three. So 20. Fair enough. Uh, if Robert can, or if <laughs> I, I grudgingly look at, at Robert. See if he wants to call the stroke, you know. Sure. I mean, not on the oars, but you have to listen to what we call out because you're going to be down where they can hear the beat. So, uh, who do you want to take his place? The unseen servant? Yeah, we'll put the unseen servant on there. The ape is still out there, so we'll have the ape on, on the uh, starboard side. Uh, the dragonborn on the port side. Correct. Uh, port is Manfang, Felix, and Haggis. Uh, Starboard, Robert, Leaf, uh, Tabaxi, and Gnome. Uh, only Robert is now the unseen servant. So you've got a good span of strength. So, and then Robert will call the beat and we'll put Felix is charting the course. So Felix is back with me in the bridge. And Mr. Latrec will, will relay orders. Mr. Latrec, number one. Aye, aye, Captain, my captain. 
and we'll put Robert in the middle, that M section. Is that the best place to have the sound go across both sides? They go at the front. Yeah, yeah. you can have them on the bridge with you. <laughs> it would be better if he were on the bridge if you want to leave him in M and have uh, Mr. Latrec and Mr. Glam Bones yell out. That would be fine as well. I can tell you this much. If Latrec and Hambone there wants to scream at me, they might die before the ship cruises. Actually, up. they will They will be relaying your uh, tone. They will be assisting you, not If this were Christmas, it would be the little, little drummer boy. All right. We've got it. We have it laid out. Let's do it. Everybody roll straight up D20. Let's make sure you aren't white. 15, 10, 6. Uh, Leaf gets a uh, Leaf and Haggis. 12 and 20. I think we all know who did that. And the Unseen Servant, 18. Uh, everybody is now functioning as one solid unit. Uh, Copious, do you want to open up the uh, eye hatch? Sure. I was really disappointed because I figured if Leaf was going to blast it with Thunderwave, you would come back to Phineas with an eye patch as the thing got blown off into his face. Uh, but that did not happen. So, say la vie. Uh, you slide it open. Ah. The sea, my first love. Uh, and you are headed out, uh, I believe, to El Toran or Eli Toran. Uh, that's where he pointed. That's not where he pointed on the map. So you he are headed somewhere. You are headed to where he pointed. Where he pointed, which Fair he thinks enough. is Eli Toran. Uh, good news. You are right on schedule. Uh, three days later. Uh, there has only been a few questions by uh, Mr. Tony about the burrow and why does this ship smell so fragrant? Uh, every once in a while, every member of the crew has gone up top. Uh, you did manage to get most of the blood off, uh, so nobody seems to notice that there was even a pitched battle there. So, uh, on the start of day three, you see... A gap, die. <laughs> a gap in the mountains. As you peer forward, uh, Felix, you move over to the viewing hatch and you notice uh, the gap is where we need to go. You yes, tell Felix. The first, gap in the mountains is where you put the motorboat. <laughs> you tell uh, the first mate, Phineas Latrec, uh, to relay the orders to Robert of Zeppelin that they need to make a starboard turn. Uh, Robert, are you going to go ahead and uh, accept his uh, comment? Or... Where's it coming from, Felix? Uh, it is coming from Felix via uh, uh, Phineas. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, well, I need that short little bastard that I want to punt drop kick. Sir, yes, sir. Uh, he runs along the right side and tells Leaf, the unseen servant, and ha, uh, nope, Tony, Dakota, uh, slow your roll, gentlemen. And you guys begin to edge into a hidden cove. Uh, Felix, you are correct. This ain't Eli Toran, and you are going to have to answer for Captain Mad Eye Copious uh, when he finds out. This ain't the capital city. Uh, this oh, what the hell? Yes, Captain, I'm aware it's not the capital city. This is where you pointed to you, that you said you wanted to come. This is a small village with two piers and a handful of fishing boats. It looks a lot like the lagoon from Gilligan's Island, only with a lot more buildings. Hmm. Hmm. wonder if Ginger's on this island. I'm sure there is a ginger or two. Uh uh, Mary Ann. It's one or the other. Oh, it's Mrs. Howell for me. Oh. <laughs> Fine. I will not be having dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> of me either. I see you there, Mrs. Howell. Uh, like, you get that uh, the, the, the copious, had, copious to had to leave right now. Oh, 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 oh. Terrible timing. 
So where'd oh, we go? Oh. What'd I miss? You are here. Do, 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 do. We went right where Jason pointed. Yep. What is this? Okay. You are at an unnamed village called Dimbo Point. But you don't know that yet. Do we uh, see are... turtles or cats? It is turtles. Okay. Uh, and a rather large group of them are coming towards uh, the shoreline, and there is a loud ringing of a bell. Are we supposed to see this stuff? Well, you guys were not privy to uh, Captain's <laughs> orders. Felix was. Felix took him exactly to where he was pointing to. No, I meant your word. No, you, you're showing us stuff here. On the... Oh, yeah, that's okay. okay. <laughs> that's like, we're seeing an awful lot here. Yeah, no, that's that's that part's just the background. So, yeah. Here. There you go. How's that? Oh, look who's back. Oh, yeah, captain, my that. captain, uh, we have arrived in a cove yeah. of turtles. Did we pull him out of the water? Or is the captain still being drugged behind like a fishing lure for? He, he was in the privy. He has emptied his bucket over the side. Can we throw him back in the water like Trump Chum again and see if we can catch another shark? Sure. <laughs> he only lost one leg, so I think he's fine. Uh, hey. Captain Copius, you are not at Eli Toran. <laughs> he's frozen. Look at that face. <laughs> so shocked. Oh, it just got worse. You got. Closer. You hear that, there, Copius? Hey, we're not at Eli Toran. Do you understand that? Yes. What did he do to Comcast? What is it with your? Energy? I think it's Comcast doing what they do best. Customer service. <laughs> Lack thereof. So, uh, gentlemen, um, there's a bell ringing, and people are running to the shoreline. Well, we're pulling up there in one of their people's ships, right? I'm not yeah. showing my face, I can tell you that much. Correct. Land ho, fellas. Everybody is in the ship. This is a total war vessel. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to pop up top, so I'm excited. I figured we're here. I'm going to take a look at what we're at. I see the turtles all around, right? Correct. They see you and they are puzzled. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, we haven't come completely to dock. Have we docked? You cannot dock. The uh, cove is not deep enough. All you right. have to remove the rowboat. I'm going up to the captain's area, ignoring self-proclaimed captain, because this straight up mutiny, he's a moron. You don't know. Robert on deck? <laughs> uh, that would be Phineas announcing your arrival on the bridge, sir. That's best thing. First mate, Phineas Latrec reporting. Phineas, Phineas, I like where you're going with this. Felix, where the sir, hell? Sir, yes, you? sir. This is not uh, our capital. We are where Cap Captain Copious Why wanted us to go. He told into this. Copious. He said, "Sail us here on this map," and I, I got us directions to here. All right. Well. Let's back the hell out of here. We need to back out of here. Give me cash. Right. Because we're in a, What's here? in a turtle port, and we're not turtles. I think that Copius obviously had some business here. Why yeah. don't we you send him aboard on shore we'll to let him discuss with the To establish communication. Since he's not here, I'll speak for him. <laughs> send Copius and Phineas and well, Glambo. We sure, with communications... We'll get the hell out of here. And everybody's problems are solved. And you can wear the shiny captain's hat. I think I will wear the shiny captain's hat. I think it's Isn't so. it still on his head? You're going to have to go out into the bay and get it. Oh, well, we can't. But I guess you, we'll make you a new one. I have one made of cattails. I don't think I want a cattail captain hat. <laughs> I think the turtles will like it. A copy, okay. so you're with okay. us. No, he's out on the uh, he's out on shore. He's starting right. communications with the turtles. So you are aware that you are not an Eli Toran, at least, right? We'll we'll take his side. I, I have not heard that. 
You are not at Eli Toran. You are at some backwater turtle village. An argument is broken out between uh, Navigator Felix and 11th Mate Robert <laughs> about the validity of the location. <laughs> There's no argument. We're just occurring with each other on the best direction of this mutiny. Well, and uh, people are watching the boat. I say we start rowing backwards. We need to get out of here. I, I kind of concur with that. As long as you agree that Captain Copius is full of shit and this mutiny well, is well, underway. First step in recovery is admitting he's not the captain. Yes. Uh, Captain Captain Felix on deck here. Let's row back. I, 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 Captain Felix, let's get out of port. I agree. Back to the back to deeper waters. Deeper waters. We'll, we'll Robert, bang the bongo, signaling to deeper waters. Deeper waters. Reverse stroking. We be stroking. Leaf. How, how long east, did it take to get stroke here? to the west. Three days. Okay, well then I'm I, I I guess I'm back and forth in and out of eight times, so we'll assume I'm in eight form again if we just rode into the place. So Robert, you are going back to the and starting to reverse. The yep, we're gonna reverse, get out to deeper waters, get away from this. Sorry, wrong part. Okay, hey. well now that we know that Captain Copius is doesn't know how doesn't know where he wants to take us. He's trying to get us killed. Where do we want to go? His hand. Is that copious? Uh, one thing you guys should know is you're starting to run low on supplies as well. Ooh. Welcome back. Uh, there's been a mutiny. You've been thrown in the brig, I think. <laughs> they are backing out of the cove. Uh, but you guys are running low on uh supplies so you will have to find a friendly port soon so but just to clarify this was the one that this is the one that felix navigated us to correct that you pointed at that yes that's to. my right. you pointed, so we're going here he, he showed me right where you pointed to eli toran yeah and right where you pointed he showed me no I, no 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 I, I i took us where you pointed Look at this map, right there. I took this where you pointed. Eli Turan. Uh, no. Clearly, uh, your navigational skills were subpar. No, you yeah, pointed I, here. I, I, we are here. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't say you wanted to go to Eli Turan. Robert, get off my bridge, Mister Robert. Oh, 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 if you wanted to go to Eli Turan, you should have pointed to it. I said we're going to Eli Turan. That was a generic. Pointing at a map. That's you uh, should have no. understood that as a navigator. I asked you specifically. Navigator you you, want, to, you want to go here? Pointing at this. What is this? Your first time being a captain? Obviously You're sailing not. in the wrong direction for four more three years. Days, Lloyd. Four more years. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is. I am a businessman. <laughs> Uh, you want to go to Eli Turan? Did we're gonna have to go guys, that way? Did anyone get turtle? A turtle, a turtle would have made for food. There were a lot of well, turtles Captain, right there on the the shore. Perhaps you should have told Wait, somebody. How's how's he talking? Isn't he in the brig? Yeah, they're backing up. You Back are backing out of the cove. Uh, Pierre Glambone reports. Captain, my captain. Z. Which one? Uh, <laughs> we are running low on supplies and need to resupply. Particularly <laughs> fresh water and oranges. What do turtles taste like? Maybe instead of backing out of here, we should do a little negotiate. Negotiate with turtles in the turtle vessel? Absolutely. Felix is going to do a quick calculation, of an estimate for how long it's going to take us to get to Eli Turan so we know how many days of supplies we need. Well, considering we have to go all the way around the island. No, we don't have to go all the way around. No, no, we just have to. Uh, you, you've got a, uh, we probably have you've got a direct shot. Oh, yeah. we, have, we were at 
he pointed like where the A in Cascades is. Yeah, yeah right there. Oh, okay, I, I thought Eli was on. For some reason, I thought it was on the far side. Okay. So we probably oh, need trip. another five another, or six days of supplies. I'd say three or four. Let's get five or six just in case. We, we could always do a hunting party right on shore. Yeah, where were we at? We were trying to before. Art. We're there now. Where did we sail from? It was right below the lagoon there in the jungle. Yeah, so uh, Leaf is probably right. We need about three or four days. <laughs> three or four days worth of supplies. <laughs> it was the first we had that uh, scrolling here. Yeah. Go ahead, rub it in. <laughs> oh, fat fingers. Sorry. <laughs> Can we uh, stay if we can we make it from the point the heart where we are now because we're in deep we're in deep we're going uh, fishing for a, a that, that is how Jason guided us here uh yes this is where copious wanted us to be I'm here so we're, we're here for supplies I don't understand the issue there's a village to get resupply on it's the only village that we knew for sure was on the map clearly it was planned well one we can't go into the village we're not we're too big to dock so why don't we just you know uh, Robert, uh, there are two landing craft on this uh, yeah. vessel that they used to get on. Well, I know. I'm saying, why don't we go off to the side a little bit, a little out of sight, and then we'll just sneak on and kidnap a couple children and fry them up for dinner. Yes. Yeah, so well, right. Or we have turtle coinage. We could. You can't do that kind of crap. You got to make soup out of them. I know. That's what I'm saying. We'll fry them up and you make soup. You, you soup want a sear. You want to cook some on the flesh. You know, you Alternatively, put, we take a landing craft, we go on. Um, we got all this turtle gold. Why don't we spend some sure, of it? To buy what we need. Listen, Scrooge McDuck does not spend his gold. <laughs> you don't get wealthy by spending money. Well, well, you know what? You don't live long if you don't eat. I think I agree with uh, Leaf here. Let's go spend some of this gold. gold. Don't we have an extra donkey now we can uh, chop up and eat? Yes. Yes. We have an extra donkey. We have an extra donkey carrying to carry goods on. Yeah, yeah. we don't have any oh, fresh water. Yeah, we good. don't have it. We don't have any extra pack animals. That's our pack animal. That's it, right there. Fresh at... water is your biggest concern. Fresh yeah. water. We got to have water. I'm well. I've been drinking my own urine for days, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm not drinking no. We thought you did that because you like the taste. Sane one. <laughs> beer. It's sterile, and I like the taste. Yeah. <laughs> Rest I, in peace, old man. <laughs> I like the idea of going and uh, spending Wait some of the portal coin. We can pose as mercenaries. That's how we got this ship. Yeah, we stole it. Hey, we found this ship drifting. Salvage. Salvage yeah. rights. And they confiscate the ship, then. Yeah. Apparently, there was some big battle, and everybody died. There's blood all over the top of it. Uh, you guys will have spotted that there are no uh, defensive towers, no yeah, ramparts. It's a village, right? It is a let's backwater village. Let's do it. I say let's, let's get go, one of the boats out, get some boats out, out and go in and do Native some negotiating. I, yeah, so I you, think... you pull in, you back out, you're pulling in. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we backed out. We're releasing a landing craft. And then yeah. I'll, uh, I'll go ashore. I don't know who else will go, but I'll go. I'll go. I think that our you, go, you need a persuasive individual. You need to Anybody but the go. captain. We I, I, all well, right, then well, then we Noodle, as the diplomat of the ship, can go ashore and negotiate. No, Robert, Robert what's your you had a good persuasion no. value, <laughs> value, didn't you? I can't I can't ball. understand what you're saying because there's a little boy nonstop. Yeah, you know, I <laughs> You have a high charisma, don't you? Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. No. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Oh, I thought you did. Yeah, I thought you were a bard. Yeah. I am a bard. I'm no, I have a high charisma bard. Uh, what? What are we looking at? I don't have diplomatic skills. I do. It's right there. I have. I have great intimidation skills. Persuasion is what you're looking at. Yeah, Felix, what's yours? Like Mine's a, just flat um, zero. Um, but, Mine's terrible, but I would prefer to go and rape and pillage. Oh, hell, we'll go. I'll go. So I got Leaf, Felix, and Robert. You want to take any of the gnomes? 
No. I don't. Do no, any of you no, have no. comprehend languages? I do. I do. Okay. Uh, you three get on the landing craft. Uh, stroke. Don't let the cat stroke. 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 Uh, the closer you get to the two um, docks, the more you notice that might be a tiny village, but every freaking villager in there is on the shore puzzled as to why you three races are headed this way from a turtle ship. As you dock, there are no aggressive actions, but the largest people they have are in the front holding farm implements. Who wants to say hi? Persuasion. Persuasion. This is why you needed copious. Persuasion and persuasion, but... Well, if, if you want to intimidate them, go ahead. No, we'll persuade. Uh, 18 plus 220. Hola, como esta? <laughs> uh, and you do speak Tortle, correct? Yeah. Or comprehend languages. Oh, yeah. I comprehend it. Uh, you hear a tapping and the large people move aside for an elderly man uh, bent over like a question mark walking on a cane and he says to you friend or foe in the common tongue I say friend I also say friend back in Torah Leaf friend Welcome them, friend. He turns to the turtle and says, they allege that they are friendly in turtle. Uh, the crowd seems to soften a bit. And he introduces himself as Taggart. How may I help you? Welcome to Dimbo Point. Y'all be careful. I seen this turtle kick a panda's ass. And they always beat the rabbit, so you can't yeah, trust yeah. a turtle. So, uh, Taggart looks to each one of you waiting for an answer. What can we do for you? We're just looking for some basic supplies to keep on our voyage. We have basic supplies. We have gold. We have no use for gold. What do you have use for? They probably need to labor animals. Oh. He looks at Robert, looks at Leaf, looks at Felix. Uh, here comes a mission. Would you guys be adventurers? I knew it, son of a bitch. Uh, why, yes, we are. Ah, oh, shit. Well, we thought that you were the Crokin Pirates come for their annual tribute. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, let's stop. I said let's sail around the bay and sneak in and steal some kids. Could have drank their blood for fluid. Dude. We will give you all of the supplies that you require if you can assist us in dealing with these notorious banditos. I think it'll be easier just to act like pirates. <laughs> let's just kill these people. <laughs> kill these bastards and take what they got. AC anyway. 10, probably six hit points. Tops. Yeah, I have to say, it is sounding a lot better to slaughter a damn village <laughs> so we can get a bucket yeah, of water. Get the village. Yeah. You know the for this. Wipe out the crowd. Burn the villagers. Leave no evidence. <laughs> uh, and, and, and how many of these pirates show up when they come? Uh, well, uh, they'll be here in a day or two, and usually they send in a scouting party, uh, consisting of only four of them, uh, Wait, how damn tabaxi, uh, and then, uh, they take our tribute and they leave. Are there seven party members when you get right down to it? Cause I'm feeling a lot like <laughs> there are six, a tabaxi and two extra gnomes. <clears throat> well, uh. So that basically Magnificent be seven, seven, seven does sound quite familiar here. <laughs> I didn't think it would take that long, and I was correct. <laughs> probably not 40 banditos. <laughs> probably not four either. Only one person survived that movie, if I remember correctly. Three. Three survived that movie. Yeah, three. And, but you know what? They had a second one. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't nearly as good as the first one either, was it? 
No, it was not. The remake was worse. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Hey, I'm game. Kill the pirates. I get an even better hat, and I might get some boots. That makes you Yul Brenner, doesn't it? All right. Fine. We kill the pirates, but then afterwards, we kill, pillage, rape, and burn the village, right? No, wait, 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 wait. As tribute, we want rowers. Whoa, 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 whoa there, uh, Captain Copious. I think you're still on board the ship. <laughs> oh, sorry. Meta gaming. Sorry, I'm stepping back. Tell them we want rowers. <laughs> we'll pay for rowers. Little small children. Hey, yeah. You know what? You yeah, that's what probably we need pick to... up an NPC. You already got a tabaxi. Yeah, we got way too many NPCs for what it sounds like. Yeah. That's our truth is NPCs. Two gnomes, a tabaxi, and now we're going to take a turtle and row him over to tabaxi land. And a burrow. You don't even know if this thing's an intelligent creature. It could it be may like be a... somebody, somebody in beast form. That's you know what? At least as intelligent as Noodle. <laughs> Now, wait a minute. And I just want to point out, Robert, you need to you're talking about it. killing everybody and raping and, and pillaging this village. I ain't doing that with no turtle. <laughs> you know what? That's... No, if it was anybody else, sure. I'm in for rape and pillage. <laughs> I thought turtles... that's why I brought the donkey on board. <laughs> you raped the women? No. No, we brought that donkey for Felix, so he'd leave our donkeys alone. <laughs> Hey, I have a very special relationship with Buttercup. That's why I'm not going to eat my zonkey. Uh, Taggart's not feeling a whole lot of love here, and he's starting to question his uh, yeah. offer. DM, <laughs> you need to get control. Uh, you know what? When yeah. I don't talk, I'm happy. <laughs> um, We're going to need to talk about this. We, we'll need to think this one over. Come, we have food. Yes, that sounds good. What about drink? We have drink. What kind of drink? We have drink made from the sweet nectar of the fruit that our gods have uh, laid upon us. Mango juice. Have you ever had mango wine? That's what I said. Mango oh, juice. ain't toilet hoot, sure. We do not know what a toilet is. And he drops a few seeds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not like that coffee that they feed the cats, you know. So you three uh, follow Taggart, the old man, through the village, uh, and you see a couple of, of buildings there. Uh, no Hyatt, <laughs> uh, but there's a few buildings there. Uh, the people stay at arm's reach, uh, but they are, uh, the curiosity is just overwhelming. Uh, from the bridge, Captain Gopius and First mate Phineas Lutrec reporting for duty. Uh, you notice these three jackoffs uh, are headed off into the village under their own power. These guys are selling you out. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to uh, keep, continue to watch. And I'm going to tell uh, uh, number one, prepare to cast off. Aye, aye, Captain Copious. On my prepare signal. to cast off. Go ahead, Copious. Who's going to row that damn boat? Yeah. Um, I vote to not row the boat. You guys got to row it yourselves. Uh, Robert, Leaf, yeah, Felix, uh, they take you into the community. They won't be able to reach the boat. Uh, yeah, they're going to take you into the community center. And uh, it's pretty much uh, what you'd call a retirement home, only uh, the community lodging has uh, all ages. So they take you there. Uh, there's a big pot of stew. There's a lot of fruit hanging out. Uh, you guys are here. Uh, so you go through the village, over the bridge, and into the community center. Uh, go ahead and do con checks to see how you like the food. It is not poisoned. 15 plus con 18. You're liking it. Um, 30, 20, 20. 30, 20. You guys okay. are loving it too. Uh, how about the libations, the mango wine? Oh, yeah. Love the food. Dirty 20. You know what? I, I'm going to offer a gift. Okay. I'm going to take off my mighty wound belt of cattails and offer it. Oh, ah, great warrior he is. Damn, Tabaxi. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 
Uh, Leaf and Robert like the wine. Felix, it's just okay. It's not bad. It's just okay. Uh, the hospitality is tippy top. Uh, and everybody has already heard that you three heroes are going to take on the Krokens. And there's just a general buzz. How exciting. If right. only there were more of you. Oh. Oh my. Well, we had a few extra deck hands left on. <laughs> deck hands. They're, they're of some use. They're really good at getting those deep down corners when they're scraping the deck. We like to decorate them up with lots of jewels and stuff to make them feel important. But really, deck hands a deck hand. Give me a persuasion check. Oh, now that I have a little bit of. Uh, 19? Mm. Mm. Ah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, uh, with the work workers' livery, we have to always hire the special. So we have one deckhand. I <laughs> comes aboard. Please bear with him. He's, he's a little loco moco. Thinks he's the captain. Thinks he's the president. I mean, we call him Little Trump. But, uh, I mean... Uh, he he's he likes to do a little, does a lot of talking. Doesn't yeah. say much. Does a lot of talking. Well, he'll wear <laughs> once, and we've learned just to shake your head and go. Hmm. Works to satisfy. Oh. Right. Can you check? Can you check the tires on that bus, copious, as it gets rolled over you? Uh, uh, Taggart wants to know if you would like to bring the other members of your fighting force uh, on here. Seal Team Five. No. <laughs> It's more like still team, like ah, 28. You know what? They're watching a ship. But uh, what, if, if somebody wants to row out, somebody could take out a little bit of grub for them. That'd be wonderful. Uh, two volunteer. One is a younger female turtle. <laughs> what you want to do, though, is just go out to one. It'll be frightening, but he's really ugly. Got a real bad scar kind of here. Not Hand here. Over to them. Yeah, not so much here or here, but right about here. Hand the food over to him and just don't take anything they say for granted. Like I said, the one special, he got bad owie on head. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, the female can actually speak common. And uh, she is the ward of Taggart. <laughs> so she'll speak the noodle. That will come Her name is turtle. Nomi. She is a female turtle. She will enlist the aid of another turtle who will swim on its back. They will load up the supplies on the standard belly of the turtle and head it on out there. Unfortunately, when they get there, uh, one, two noodle three copious, four the tabaxi, five, six, one of the gnomes. Three. Son of a biscuit. He's got big alley on head that price so uh, The tabaxi, or I'm sorry, no, who's, it's Captain Copious, right? Was that uh, three? Was Pasky, I couldn't remember. Pasky? What's a Pasky? We'll, we'll say copious. Uh, copious, uh, you see two turtles probably saboteurs headed your way and uh, you being the diligent commander head up to the top deck when you are greeted by a female portal who speaks common and introduces herself as Nomi and said the big tall guy said to bring you food and who are you I'm going to uh, put on as many polite diplomatic airs as possible and introduce uh, myself as captain of the vessel, not knowing, obviously, what Robert has done. <laughs> of course. And then I'll take off my hat, give her a bow with a flourish, really try to charm her um, and ask who she is and, and all of that, and then confirm again. And you said it was uh, Robert, the one with the, the liar? The, the musical instrument, the ugly one, he's the... All three are ugly in our, uh, our eyes. 
Uh, but yes, I believe it was uh, the Robert. The Robert, as I shall refer to him. Uh, Captain. <laughs> Go ahead and give me an insight check. <laughs> uh, nope, I think it's uh, dead on. Nine. I think yeah. she, oh, okay. Proper deference. All right. I'm going to invite her on board. Open the portal and invite her and her colleague to come on board. Ship. I have never been on a Torto warship. I am speechless. This is a fine. <laughs> this is a fine craft you have, Captain. <laughs> Give her a tour. I'm gonna uh, ask her name is Phineas. Uh... Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm going to introduce Phineas. I said, "This is Mr. Phineas, Mr. Latrek, the first mate." Yeah, <laughs> she's not a fan. Not a fan. So, uh, did how much food did they bring? Enough for everybody? Uh, Robert, did you tell them how many people were on board? Ship? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody has a small meal. Uh, it's got some mango wine. Keep that from Latrec. Uh, okay. So if she does that, and I'm I'm going to ask what's. I'm going to ask her what's uh, occurring on the, the sandbar. Did, were, were they able to successfully negotiate for some provisions? You and your associates have graciously volunteered to kill pirates. And <laughs> just looks at her stunned. Like all they were supposed to do was buy a couple days worth of rations. But I said, Oh, Oh really? Uh, and who we understand you? that you are brave heroes. Well, that we Captain. are. <laughs> Stroke brave heroes ego. stroke it stroke the uh, ego it's all that matters <laughs> man fang you come to the bridge and you are introduced she likes you not at all <laughs> okay. what's up girl how's it going that's I probably why lovely one hi friend my name is Robert and the rest of them said I was. She right. leans forward, uh, Captain. Uh, is he okay? Uh, he was hit in the head. Sometimes was... he thinks he's the captain. Oh, so he's the <laughs> one that's the crazy one. No, that's him. Sometimes. Oh, I was under the impression that nicely was, done. Uh, Someone else. <laughs> no, I'm going to show her I, on the tour. I'm going to point out my quarters and then point out where the rest of the crew sleeps. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long voyage. Uh, it's only a seven for you. So, ah. <sighs> <sighs> uh, thought we were going to have a real Pocahontas kind of moment there. You thought wrong. She likes the tabaxi more than you three. <laughs> That's a 15. You, you've got Phineas and Pierre. Hey there. <laughs> That's just gross. That's really gross. I can imagine them just their faces all, and their hair is all greasy as well. They're in there getting the uh, fat buckets out. Yeah. That's right. Getting that lard in there. Well, if I'm going to ask, is there any other messages delivered from? I, I'm going to say I noticed that they walked off into the farther. Into the they play. are making the final arrangements at the banquet. Oh, there's a banquet. Yes, grand banquet. A lot of food and wine. Uh, for a particular reason. You have accepted our challenge to take oh. care of the Croken Raiders. We Cro are thrilled to death. What's a Croken by chance? It is a tabaxi seafaring pirate. So uh, is Tony Dakota still around since he and the Nomi hit it off? Uh, he's in his quarters. I want to see if I can. I'm going to leave her in the care of my two Gnomish compatriots. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to find Tony cool. Dakota and ask him about the Kroken, if he knows anything about them. Oh, yeah. Those guys are pretty badass. I mean, have you ever seen their flag, for God's sake? 
<laughs> God, how long have you been waiting to get that out? About six <laughs> months. <laughs> <laughs> I, love it. I, I had to adjust certain <laughs> aspects of it. <laughs> Pirate flag. Uh, Quickly, before he takes it down. You missed it. I, what, put oh. it down. Oh. I did, uh, uh, there we go. There he goes. Bring it back. Oh, it's gone. There it is right there. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so, uh, would you like to attend the banquet as well, uh, Captain? Well, I figure I must. Uh, I'm going to leave our ship in uh, Noodle. Are you going to remain on board ship to guard it against? Yes, he is. No, I'm hungry. I'm going to the banquet. I brought food out. I don't care. I'm going to the banquet. Nobody's going to watch the ship? He'll be fine. He's back, so oh, my God. Death. The two gnomes can watch the ship. Captain, oh, my wait. captain. <laughs> Can't Crabstain watch the ship, too? He can watch the ship as well. Captain Crabstain. Uh, yes, Captain Captain Chunk. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, I'm going to say crap scene. You have the bridge. Got it. <laughs> yeah, curiosity. How are we supposed to get to shore? Is she offering for us? You got two boats. Uh, so we're going to have to pull the other boat out? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Two Noodle. hatches, two boats. Mr. Noodle, row. Are you going to take either of the gnomes? Uh, we're, we'll take uh, Latrec. Oh boy. Uh sure. We'll go with Latrec. Uh all right. Uh I think this is a great idea. I think that Robert of Zeppelin is going to be very happy that you guys have opted to go ahead and come ashore as well. This has no negative side effects whatsoever. Uh let's uh break for the day because this looks like a good stopping point. Yeah. Uh, AJ, what'd you think? Oh, this was good. I I thought there was going to be more fallout from getting Copious to the wrong location, but apparently it was a well calculated uh, supply stop. You did uh, you did what you thought was correct. I did what he told me to do. So you follow orders, and people lived. <laughs> <laughs> ah, lucky me. Yeah, I had a good time though. Good, Jason. Fate's a fickle mistress, and so is the sea. So we're it's a, high crimes and misdemeanors on board ship. I'm sure there are traitors on board this adventure. They'll be rooted out soon enough. But now, Copius is in his element. A real philosopher of his time. He yeah, sure he, is. He goes <laughs> being stroked left. Yeah, now that uh, they Up think man right. fangs the crazy that was one. Interesting. <laughs> uh, Frank Jr., what'd you think? Oh, I loved it. I just kind of depressed. I can't be back to uh, enjoy it next weekend so I can destroy the ego. So hopefully you can rein in with the continual of. I will do my utmost, uh, but I pale in comparison. That's <laughs> persuasion right there. <laughs> Little Frank, what do you think? That's you. Oh, that's me. Yeah. Um, I thought it was great. I don't know. Um, don't and last but not least, the patriarch. You're muted. It, it, with those two, it's like being back, you know, 30 years ago, listening to him go at it. So Man. nothing new there. But this was, <laughs> it's uh, kind of heading in the direction I was afraid it was going to. Be I'll fine. be really surprised after next week if we've still got a boat. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, you know not. what? I'm uh, sure it will be. Crokins have a boat. Hey, there you go. See, there's a possibility you all will have uh, – oh, wait. Did it, Did Noodle take off his armored turtle shell before he went on a uh, – nope. nope. The Crokins have a boat, but I've got this lightning bolt spell I'm I want to try out. I'm thinking Armada. Oh, Ooh. Think an armada, you know, you take enough prisoners. Well, we put all the gnomes on one boat. I'm a door. Uh, the rest of us get on the other one. I'm a door, copious. On the door. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the Mark Goo campaign. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our crap or talk DD, it's down there. Most importantly, if you want a shot or a seat on the talk show or a one shot, M Hobo Inc., uh, Twitter. 
as long as my account's not suspended, or Gmail. Uh, let us know. Thanks for joining us. Have a great rest of the weekend. Bye, everybody.